at Le Le Hua and everything, I mean, you guys had a great run for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's miraculous to think in the OIA that, you know, you made it to these state championship games and everything. And was there anything in your high school career that really helped you to excel at not only football, but just quarterback and help your team and everything in ways that, you know, helped you achieve that success? Um, I think it was just work ethic. Hmm. One of the things that I've always that's been instilled in me um, mm-hmm. through my uncle was one of my my first trainers mm-hmm. as far as the gym, and it started in seventh grade, Pop Warner, and after practice we'd go to the gym. So yeah. it was like almost every every day. Uh-huh. It's like okay, we got training, yeah. training, and and it was old school. Like <laughs> hey, when we're in here to train, don't be dancing around. We're <laughs> you know focused, just yeah. put in work, and mm-hmm. I would get yelled at, scoldings, but. It instilled a lot of good traits as far as, mm-hmm. you know, work ethic. Mm-hmm. And I took that into high school and through high school, I, I started to just use that work ethic and mm-hmm. kind of feel out like in bringing my teammates up with me, mm-hmm. you know, and creating a atmosphere that where we can all mm-hmm. strive. And then, I mean, don't get me wrong, you got to win games too because yes. if you, <laughs> all of that and rah rah <laughs> and trying to get guys going is not going to work if you're yes. losing. So um, we just caught traction, we caught momentum, we had good players, good talent, good coaching, mm-hmm. and we were able to put all the pieces together. Yeah. And a belief system, I think, is one of the, the biggest keys to success. Mm-hmm. The year before, when I was a freshman, um, the varsity team, they didn't do too well. That's all I can remember. I don't know how much wins and loss they had, but it was almost where they were on the cusp of we were going to drop down to, mm-hmm. to the lower division. Mm-hmm. But our JV team, we went to the championship game. So that kind of balanced us out, and it, mm-hmm. they decided to keep us at the upper division. Mm-hmm. And then that next year was the year we went to the state championship game. So just that turnaround, right? I think yeah. a lot of it was starting to win, starting to believe like, hey, bro, yeah. we're good. We can do this, you know? Yeah. Coming from a small town, it was a, it was a big thing to start getting that momentum and that traction yeah. and that belief system in ourselves. And then yeah. after we got rolling, it was pretty hard to stop. I mean, even that, you know, a lot of times people just think winning is easy, but even learning how to win and develop that culture, yeah. or that yeah. mindset, that help, that's huge, right? Now, so you went from straight playing Pop Warner to playing Vars in one year? Uh, no, I played JV oh, one, JV the one, my freshman year. Okay, yeah. your freshman year, you played JV. And then after that, sophomore to senior year, you were on Vars, Correct. right? Now, you know, every time, I mean, Pop Warner, most people in Hawaii play Pop Warner, right? Right. But the speed of the game starts to get tr- uh, tremendously faster, right, as you increase level. So was it a difficult transition for you to go from, like, you know, Pop Warner to varsity in a couple of years, or was it? No, it was pretty comfortable. I think this just brings me back to the word belief. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it definitely was hard. I'm not going to say it wasn't. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of times, a lot of times we have self doubt, uh-huh. and it's like, oh, bro, yeah. like now, you know, playing with the varsity. Yes. And uh, I always say, if, it's funny now because you look back, like the high school kids look so little. It's like. You know, but like every time you go up, it's like Pop Warner looks like oh, it's little kids. <laughs> yeah. But at the time, it's like oh, varsity. You know, the lights are a lot brighter. And I remember walking down for our first game, and I was uh-huh. just like, oh, like this is this, this is, is the real deal. It's not JV no more, yeah. you know. But it, I mean, every time you, you just gotta get. I think you just adapt. You know, mm-hmm. you become comfortable in the uncomfortable because mm-hmm. at first it is uncomfortable. It's like oh, the yeah. boys are bigger, the game's faster. Yeah. Uh, but you also got to know that you know you're you're moving along too. You're mm-hmm. coming up them. So yeah. um, it just comes back to that belief system. Yeah. Because I can tell you about the UH as well. And <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That transition we'll get to that. That, that in transition a went really fast, and yeah. I was like, oh <laughs> boy. You know, it's it's good to hear those stories because every athlete they go through similar experiences. I oh, think, definitely. As they're you know going up, moving to higher and higher levels, and everything.